Southern Europe is the southern region of the European continent. Most definitions of Southern Europe, also known as Mediterranean Europe, include Gibraltar, Spain, Italy, Malta, Greece, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Albania, Slovenia, the East Thrace of European Turkey and Cyprus. Kosovo, Portugal, Andorra, Vatican City, San Marino, Serbia and the Republic of Macedonia are also often included despite not having a coast in the Mediterranean. Some definitions may also include mainland southern France, Corsica and Monaco, which are otherwise considered parts of Western Europe. Different methods can be used to define Southern Europe, including its political, economic, and cultural attributes. Southern Europe can also be defined by its natural features—its geography, climate, and flora. Politically, seven of the Southern European states form the EU Med Group. Geography Geographically, southern Europe is the southern half of the landmass of Europe. This definition is relative, although largely based in history, culture, climate, and flora which is shared across the region. It includes southwestern Europe, the Iberian Peninsula Andorra, Portugal and Spain, including the minor territory of Gibraltar. Then Italy and the micro-states of San Marino and the Vatican City. Southeastern Europe includes Greece, Kosovo, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, the Republic of Macedonia, Albania and East Thrace part of European Turkey. The major islands in the region are Sardinia, Sicily, Crete, the Balearic Islands and the island countries of Cyprus and Malta. Climate. Southern Europe's most emblematic climate is that of the Mediterranean climate, which has become a typically known characteristic of the area, which is due to the large subtropical semi-permanent center of high atmospheric pressure found, not in the Mediterranean itself, but in the Atlantic Ocean, the Azores High. The Mediterranean climate covers much of Portugal, Spain, southeast France, Monaco, Italy, coastal Croatia, Albania, Greece, as well as the Mediterranean islands. Those areas of Mediterranean climate present similar vegetations and landscapes throughout, including dry hills, small plains, pine forests and olive trees. Cooler climates can be found in certain parts of southern European countries, for example within the mountain ranges of Spain and Italy. Additionally, the north coast of Spain experiences a wetter Atlantic climate. Flora Southern Europe's flora is that of the Mediterranean region, one of the phytochoria recognized by Armin Taktahin. The Mediterranean and submediterranean climate regions in Europe are found in much of southern Europe, mainly in southern Portugal, most of Spain, the southern coast of France, Italy, the Croatian coast, much of Bosnia, Montenegro, Kosovo, Serbia, Albania, Macedonia, Greece, and the Mediterranean islands. Population Largest urban areas History Early history The period known as Classical Antiquity began with the rise of the city-states of ancient Greece. Greek influence reached its zenith under the expansive empire of Alexander the Great, spreading throughout Asia. The Roman Empire came to dominate the entire Mediterranean basin in a vast empire based on Roman law and Roman legions. It promoted trade, tolerance, and Greek culture. By 300 AD the Roman Empire was divided into the Western Roman Empire based in Rome, and the Eastern Roman Empire based in Constantinople. The attacks of the Germanic peoples of Northern Europe led to the fall of the Western Roman Empire in AD 476, a date which traditionally marks the end of the Classical period and the start of the Middle Ages. During the Middle Ages, the Eastern Roman Empire survived, though modern historians refer to this state as the Byzantine Empire. 
In Western Europe, Germanic peoples moved into positions of power in the remnants of the former Western Roman Empire and established kingdoms and empires of their own. The period known as the Crusades, a series of religiously motivated military expeditions originally intended to bring the Levant back into Christian rule, began. Several Crusader states were founded in the eastern Mediterranean. These were all short-lived. The Crusaders would have a profound impact on many parts of Europe. Their sack of Constantinople in 1204 brought an abrupt end to the Byzantine Empire. Though it would later be re-established, it would never recover its former glory. The Crusaders would establish trade routes that would develop into the Silk Road and open the way for the merchant republics of Genoa and Venice to become major economic powers. The Reconquista, a related movement, worked to reconquer Iberia for Christendom. The late Middle Ages represented a period of upheaval in Europe. The epidemic known as the Black Death and an associated famine caused demographic catastrophe in Europe as the population plummeted. Dynastic struggles and wars of conquest kept many of the states of Europe at war for much of the period. In the Balkans, the Ottoman Empire, a Turkish state originating in Anatolia, encroached steadily on former Byzantine lands, culminating in the fall of Constantinople in 1453. Topic: <laughs> Post-Middle Ages. Topic: Beginning roughly in the 14th century in Florence, and later spreading through Europe with the development of the printing press, a renaissance of knowledge challenged traditional doctrines in science and theology, with the Arabic texts and thought bringing about rediscovery of classical Greek and Roman knowledge. The Reconquista of Portugal and Spain led to a series of oceanic explorations resulting in the Age of Discovery that established direct links with Africa, the Americas, and Asia, while religious wars continued to be fought in Europe, which ended in 1648 with the Peace of Westphalia. The Spanish crown maintained its hegemony in Europe and was the leading power on the continent until the signing of the Treaty of the Pyrenees, which ended a conflict between Spain and France that had begun during the Thirty Years' War. An unprecedented series of major wars and political revolutions took place around Europe and indeed the world in the period between 1610 and 1700. Observers at the time, and many historians since, have argued that wars caused the revolutions. European overseas expansion led to the rise of colonial empires, producing the Columbian Exchange. The combination of resource inflows from the New World and the Industrial Revolution of Great Britain allowed a new economy based on manufacturing instead of subsistence agriculture. The period between 1815 and 1871 saw a large number of revolutionary attempts and independence wars. Balkan nations began to regain independence from the Ottoman Empire. Italy unified into a nation state. The capture of Rome in 1870 ended the papal temporal power. Rivalry in a scramble for empires spread in what is known as the Age of Empire. 20th century The outbreak of World War I in 1914 was precipitated by the rise of nationalism in southeastern Europe as the Great Powers took up sides. The Allies defeated the Central Powers in 1918. During the Paris Peace Conference the Big Four imposed their terms in a series of treaties, especially the Treaty of Versailles. The Nazi regime under Adolf Hitler came to power in 1933, and along with Mussolini's Italy sought to gain control of the continent by the Second World War. Following the Allied victory in the Second World War, Europe was divided by the Iron Curtain. The countries in southeastern Europe were dominated by the Soviet Union and became communist states. The major non-communist Southern European countries joined a US-led military alliance NATO and formed the European Economic Community amongst themselves. The countries in the Soviet sphere of influence joined the military alliance known as the Warsaw Pact and the economic bloc called Comic-Con. Yugoslavia was neutral. Italy became a major industrialized country again, due to its post-war economic miracle. The European Union (EU) involved the division of powers, with taxation, health, and education handled by the nation states, while the EU had charge of market rules, competition, legal standards, and environmentalism. The Soviet economic and political system collapsed, leading to the end of communism in the satellite countries in 1989 and the dissolution of the Soviet Union itself in 1991. 
As a consequence, Europe's integration deepened, the continent became depolarized, and the European Union expanded to subsequently include many of the formerly communist European countries, Romania and Bulgaria 2007 and Croatia 2013. Languages <inaudible> 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 The following table shows the languages in Southern Europe that are spoken by at least 5 million people in the region. Romance languages The most widely spoken family of languages in Southern Europe are the Romance languages, the heirs of Latin, which have spread from the Italian peninsula, and are emblematic of southwestern Europe, see the Latin arch. By far the most common Romance languages in Southern Europe are Italian spoken by over 50 million people in Italy, Malta, San Marino, and the Vatican and Spanish, which is spoken by over 40 million people in Spain, Andorra and Gibraltar. Other common Romance languages include Portuguese spoken in Portugal and Andorra, Catalan spoken in eastern Spain, Andorra and Alguero in Italy, Galician spoken in northwestern Spain and Occitan, which is spoken in the Val d'Aran in Catalonia, in the Occitan valleys in Italy and in southern France. Other languages the Hellenic languages or Greek language are widely spoken in Greece and in the Republic of Cyprus. Additionally, other varieties of Greek are spoken in small communities in parts of other European countries. English is used as a second language in parts of Southern Europe. As a primary language, however, English has only a small presence in Southern Europe, only in Gibraltar alongside Spanish and Malta secondary to Maltese. English is also widely spoken in Cyprus. There are other language groupings in Southern Europe. Albanian is spoken in Albania, Kosovo, Macedonia, and parts of Italy particularly by the Arboreche people in Southern Italy and Greece, and Serbo-Croatian is spoken in Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia and Montenegro. Slovenian is spoken in Slovenia, Italy in Friuli Venezia Giulia and Croatia in Istria, and Bulgarian is spoken in Bulgaria and Macedonia. Maltese is a Semitic language that is the official language of Malta, descended from Siculo Arabic, but written in the Latin script with heavy Latin and Italian influences. The Basque language is spoken in the Basque country, a region in northern Spain and southwestern France. Transport The following table shows the busiest airports in southern Europe in 2016. Religion The predominant religion in Southern Europe is Christianity. Christianity spread throughout Southern Europe during the Roman Empire, and Christianity was adopted as the official religion of the Roman Empire in the year 380 AD. Due to the historical break of the Church into the western half based in Rome and the eastern half based in Constantinople, different denominations of Christianity are prominent in different parts of Europe. Christians in the western half of Southern Europe—e.g., Portugal, Spain, Italy—are generally Roman Catholic. Christians in the eastern half of Southern Europe—e.g., Greece, Macedonia—are generally Greek Orthodox. Other classifications European Travel Commission classification European Travel Commission divides the European region on the basis of Tourism Decision Metrics model. Countries which belong to the Southern, Mediterranean Europe in this classification are See also Topic: Mediterranean Basin, Southeast Europe, Northern Europe, Western Europe, EU Med Group, Eurovic hashtag Southern Europe. Topic: Notes. Topic. Topic: References. Topic. <laughs>